mister. I don't much care where you find it. Just get me the money, or you'll suffer the consequences and be removed from your home. It's not complicated. But I never did nothing for you. Why do I owe you anything? You owe what you owe, and there's nothing else to be said. Oh, good day, sir. Have you come to pay this gentleman's debts? How nice of you. <laughs> Darling, take the children and stay out of sight. That was, but I thank you nonetheless. I can rest easy knowing this extortionist won't be back threatening my family. If you could spare a bite for us, beat us for begging. Just distract him for a moment, and we'll take what we need. I don't much care where you find it. Just get me the money, or you... Oh, good day, sir. Have you come to pay... <laughs> Darling, take the children and stay out of sight. <laughs> Bloody business that was. But I thank you nonetheless. I can rest easy knowing this extortionist won't be back threatening my family. Please, ah, praise be to God. I was reaping my yield and these lobster backs attacked me. I mean only to sell my produce in the borough. Ah, please, they sent for reinforcements when I fought back. I only need to finish the harvest and I cannot rebuff them alone. fast at a regular price. Those men have been seizing everything and driving up the cost. It's not right. These are my blankets. Move along, move along. I've claimed these blankets for my son. What you doing, burning my blanket? Your blankets are infected with smallpox. You should get to the doctor right away. Oh, that's just great. Please, can you... Uh, 
praised be to God. I was reaping my yield and these lobster backs attacked me. I mean only to sell my produce in the borough. Please, they sent for reinforcements when I fought back. I only need to finish the harvest and I cannot rebuff them alone. sell fast at a regular price. Those men have been seizing everything and driving up the cost. It's not right. Back off. These are my blankets. What you doing, burning my blanket? Your blankets are infected with smallpox. You should get to the doctor right away. Oh, that's just great. These men have been found guilty of treason and conspiracy. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. found guilty of treason and conspiracy. Crimes punished. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. It's a just thing you've done. Thank <laughs> you. 
Where is your mother? Follow me! Let me... Bugger off before I crack you Please, one. why would you listen? Leave. That wasn't necessary. I can handle myself. When he returns, he'll try and give me twice the thrashing. Why would you stay with such a man? This is my house and business. It's my tailoring that paid for this place. I'll take his drunken buffoonery over leaving behind what I've built. If I told you there was another place where you could live and work, free of him, would you consider it? The catch? No catch. Our village is growing and in need of all forms of trade. Just business and a new life. I'll come and see if what you say is true. Crime punishable by death. The sentence to be carried out for... Thank you. Thank you ever so much. Just then you can. At least you're no beast like most of these people. Anybody who's immune has already fled. Cowards. And who are you? Jamie Colley. You need to keep doing what you're doing. Nobody else is. If we both get after it, we might be able to quell this monster of a disease. I will do what I can. I'll be lending a hand to these doctors. Find me once you think you've done enough, and maybe we can do more. You are a good man. The sickness just exploded out of nowhere. I hope for my boy's sake that I survive it. How did you get it? Oh, don't know. Haven't talked to anybody with it. Mister! Can you help me? My father's real sick. He needs a healer. Can you carry him to one? to anybody with it.
beggars. The city's better off with them. How do I meet your commander? Won't happen. You only trust his closest men. Even if you find him, you won't get anywhere near him. Another challenger! About top. Keep swinging! You can't hit me! me. When will your boss be here next? A few days. Let me go, I beg you! How do I find your leader? You don't. He moves his floating fortress around the harbor so nobody knows where he is. asks all able-bodied men to give an hour of their labor this Saturday as the fuel house is in need of much restoration.
We were just discussing the result of your work. It seems these military men are after you. I have caught their attention. It does make our goals harder to achieve. The man we're after has gone into hiding, protected by his soldiers. We fight our way in, then. Not possible, even for a man of your abilities. But I have another, less conventional idea. You will be our prisoner, and we shall present you for the bounty. People, bear witness to what happens to rebels in my part of New York. These men defied the curfew, set in place for your safety. They assaulted His Majesty's soldiers and conspired against the authority of the military. Such blatant disregard for the protocols, designed to protect the citizens of New York, will be punished by death. We seek not to control you, to oppress you. We seek only to ensure your safety in the face of conflict and aggression. The civilians of New York must be protected at all costs, no matter their allegiance. It seems that these three men sought to jeopardize your well-being. I will not tolerate it. Form up! What he was doing was right. He did, as do his brothers. Who was he really? There are powerful organizations who seek control, nothing more. This man belonged to one. It does not surprise me. I don't know who you are, but if you should need my help, I am happy to give it. About time you showed up. What are you doing? I mean to start my inoculations. It's the most effective way to prevent the disease. Not a worry. Pity people are so damn stupid. Hey, Connor. What's wrong with you? An attack is coming. Are you ready for a fight? Always. You tell me where you want me and I'll make sure not a single man gets through.
The assassins have long since branched out across the globe. The colonies are no exception. The man you killed was a Templar. And here I was thinking you were helping me. I must say, I'm honored. If you ever need my help again, don't hesitate. What in God's name are you doing? That man was a British spy. He intended to kill you, Major Arnold. What? General Washington learned of the plot and sent me to foil it. Indeed. We need all the support we can muster. Some of my men are leaving on a munitions delivery to a nearby camp, and I need you to escort them. Find John Anderson upon your arrival. He'll have further instructions. Questions? No. Good. Major General Arnold sent me to assist you. Yeah? All right, he's the boss. Thank goodness you're here. Doubt we could get all these crates down to the camp without you. You do not agree with this? You have an Allah. We're meant to garrison West Point, and by extension, hold the Hudson. It's vital, no arguing that. So why is it we're shipping out half our powder and shot? Why not bring up your concern with Major General Arnold? I have. He threatened to have me court-martialed for insubordination and treason, if you can believe that. So I follow orders, no matter how absurd.
traitor is getting away. I'm not the real traitor. I could tell you who it is if you let me go. Listen, listen. Just turn your back for five seconds and you'll never see me again. I don't want anything to do with this place. Listen, mate, I know you're just following orders, but things aren't what they seem around here. I'm telling you. Is it money you want? Because I got money. How much to set me free? Be quiet. All right, all right, listen. I can fix this. Just give me a chance and I'll prove to you I'm a real patriot. I want this country as much as the next man. Just let me show you. That the traitor? It is. Major General Arnold will have further orders for you. Sounds good. Welcome aboard, milady. <laughs> Ah, Connor. Just the man I wanted to see. Well done, capturing the traitor. But I must ask more of you. There are some kegs of powder resting inside the fort. Bring them to the magazine. Dismissed. Are you well? As well as I can be, given the circumstances. You? Same. But we're close. So very close. We need to talk about this someplace with fewer curious ears. Has Clinton agreed? It is done. Only the matter of my compensation remains something of the utmost importance to me. Deliver this letter. Make absolutely sure he gets it. Please be cautious. A mistake at this stage would be... unfortunate. When we come out on the other side of this thing, I'll make sure you're rewarded, Major Andre. Generously. <laughs> you mean John Anderson, sir? Yes.
Sir. Sir. Make sure we're not followed. If anybody sees us, kill them. That's far enough for you two. Keep a keen eye and come for me when you see the smoke. Yes, sir. We'll be waiting, Major Andre. Halt! Gentlemen, I hope you belong to our party. What party? The lower party. We do. Good. I'm an officer in the British Army and I must not be detained. I will chalk this mishap up to fatigue. But we ain't British, friend. And you are under arrest. Uh, that was merely a test, and you passed. I'm an officer of the Patriots, in truth. Here are my papers. Rubbish! Kill him and bring his head to the commander. No! Do not kill him. Search him instead. Blessed stars. His real name is Major Andre, and he's with the British. He carries this letter on behalf of Major General Benedict Arnold. Arnold is our commanding officer. Bind Andre's hands immediately and bring him to Commander Washington. I will see to Arnold. already. I have some more. Explain this. Well, I don't know what 
This is a letter in your hand addressed to General Clinton of the British Army confirming the surrender of West Point for the sum of 20,000 pounds. This must be some sort of plot to expose the fort. I am a patriot through and through, Connor. My actions at Saratoga speak to that, I'm sure. For your sake, I hope General Washington agrees. He will be arriving here today. Regulars! Regulars! We're under attack! The main! Stand tall! We're holding! Arnold betrayed us! That turncoat bastard! We secure the fort, then we deal with Arnold. I... Arnold was behind this, but he escaped. If you did not catch him, nobody could have. West Point is secure, and Major Andre will hang for his crimes. And Arnold? We'll try to find him, though I have my doubts. Whom can we trust now? The Patriot heroes are betraying us. You reap what you sow. While you were putting a stop to this madness, I was sniffing out who's responsible. His tactics are familiar to me. Is that right? Well, don't know who the man is, but he's not for Patriots nor British. He's got a fortified camp built around the main water supply in the area. All the seized crops, all the meat, everything is being moved there. Then resold at dizzying prices. How do we get in? I got some local men ready to get in on the fight. Madman? Not mad. 
beguiled by a set of dangerous but attractive ideals. Is that right? And who exactly are you? Someone who seeks to relieve men like him of their power. And after seeing what you can do, I leave it at that. But if you ever need an extra blade, I'll stand by you. You see the catch fired, Captain! Anything, Captain? Due north of here. What's that weasel up to? She tanker to win. Men, prepare to board. Biddle is mine. Hook us in. Bring her close. Two arms. Two arms. Grab the swivels. Cover from the quarter deck. Secure the aft line. Tie off the bow. Come to an end. <laughs> Is that why you hunted me? Because you thought me an enemy to the cause. <laughs> You're every bit the fool I was told. You brought pain and suffering upon innocent people for nothing but personal gain. Pain. Suffering. I set them free. Weeded out the dissenters and empowered the patriots. So what if I was named Admiral? The revolution needs one, and I was the best man for the job. The only man. If not for me, the Continental Navy would remain but a handful of rafts. For all your vision, you assassins are blind to the truth. Enough. Wait. Let the Randolph die with me. 
Don't take her as a prize. Please. Please. I want no quarter. Just to sink with my ship. I can't believe you mean to leave the Randolph. She's a mighty vessel, Captain, and one of Biddle. You show him mercy in the face of... I guess that's that, then. A tad overdramatic, if you ask me. Still, a waste of a formidable ship. How's about a cheer for the boys, then, eh? Victory for the Akira! For her glory! Hip hip! Hurrah! Hurrah! Hip, 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 hurrah! I've been a wild rover for many a year, and I've spent all my money on whiskey and beer. Joseph Palmer retired to Jamaica, somewhere around this castle. Faulkner said the scroll would likely have ended up in Lord Lewis Hutchinson's private museum. This place is... Hutchinson's personal museum. Kid Scroll must be here somewhere. Shot must have come from the balcony.
killer must have chased his prey. But through where? The mechanism of the mask is broken. I do not understand how anyone could live here. Small wonder Hutchinson went mad. This place feels mad. There must be some clues around that can help me with this.
close to a tree kissed by fire. Ah, what do you make of it? They all appear to be parts of the same piece of leather. It lies under the eagle's bed near the wolf's abode, close to a tree kissed by fire and abreast the rock that does not fit and a route to an island. The symbols remain elusive. That's Oak Island. I've sailed past it half a hundred times. A forgettable isle, to say the least. The location seems to be the easy part. Aye. And we'll be waiting for you the moment you want to get after it. You actually found something? <laughs> Oyun ekranı 35 YouTube kanalını izlediğiniz için teşekkürler. Kanala desteklerinizi bekliyoruz. Kanalımızı beğenmeyi, abone olmayı, bildirim zilini açmayı lütfen unutmayalım. Görüş öneri ve yorumlarınız bizim için gerçekten çok değerli olacak. Lütfen yorum bırakın.